Yo, what's good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy back. Peace and blessings. Hope you all having a good day today. Today is, I believe, 25 September 2020, all right? This glorious year here, okay? This very extraordinary year. And uh, again, I hope you guys are doing well today. Now, I'm going to get on the subject about uh, there's a lot of tension with uh, Breonna Taylor, okay, uh, and her verdict. Uh, they did the verdict last night in Louisville, Kentucky, okay. And just to refresh your memory, that was uh, that girl was basically assassinated in uh, Louisville, Kentucky, in a no-knock uh, order, okay. And the boyfriend tried to uh, defend himself, okay. That happened around March or so. So, so yeah, you could tell by the way this this thing was set up. Okay, that basically that it was a setup. Now, the settlement was done. The family took like what twelve million dollars, like uh, one to two days before the verdict. Okay, so. The verdict can happen, and then after that, then after that, then you have chaos. Okay, because they had prepared for all this. I believe uh, maybe a day prior before the verdict. Okay, places like uh, some establishments around Louisville, close to the courthouse, and all that, were boarded up. Okay, boarded up, and some of the cops and some of the uh, state and government employees were asked to take off for my uh, research. Okay. Uh, so, this is a ploy for more more protests to happen and more. That means more violence, more looting. Okay, more arrests and so forth. But I hope you guys understand like the big picture. Okay, that it's just my belief and my theory that a lot of these killings are staged. Okay, now don't get me wrong. Rest in peace, there, uh, Rihanna and. George Floyd, okay, but I say this for a reason, because you get one to four people, especially like black men, okay, that die every day, all right, and it's more of some of everybody, and that's in every major city, okay, just this summer alone, how many people we lost in Chicago, I think it's like, what, two, three hundred people? Okay, and all of a sudden this killing here is glorified. I hate to have to say it like this, but it's glorified, all right? This one in George uh, Floyd's uh, killing, all right, um, were souped up to be bigger than it, than it was because it's a ploy with these protests, and a lot of these protests are planned as well, okay? To bring in police reform and then uh, with the shootings and killings and so forth, they in inevitably try to take gun rights. All right, and that's going to be a problem because you have a lot of country folk and so forth. All right, more white folks, okay, than blacks uh, that love their guns, especially like in the South uh, and many in the West that like their guns. And you try to take that stuff, uh, those guns away from them, there's going to be a problem. And I think that if, that if that happens, depending on what state, you're going to have people that's going to rebel against this. Okay? But there's a saying that uh, you have to have chaos before they instill the order. All right? And this is, no, again, nothing that's, that's uh, concocted by accident, so to speak. Okay? None of this, including the COVID. And I don't want to really get too much into it. All right, but this year is pretty much the year of uh, shedding off like old faction, factions and bringing in new uh, factions where, you know, I start to see more cash systems and other electronic systems that's going to be uh, coming in soon. And then, of course, it's about money and politics. When this all fizzes out, you guys are going to see that it's all about money and, and politics and whatever, okay? And the government is not your friend. But back to what I'm saying about these protests. And I know that there's some good 
protesters out here that want to see change, okay, that go out there and pro uh, protest peacefully. But again, I'll say like this, a lot of these, uh, these riots are planned, okay, that they'll set objects out there, uh, out, out in these places where they protest and all that, okay, bricks and, and different stuff, and yeah, that's what exactly what they want you to do. They want you to vandalize, and they want people to go looting and so forth, okay? So that way they got the cameras, they got the facial recognition now, because it's all big business, all right? To be able to bring people in, arrest them, or tax them, okay? Again, people are going to see at the end of the day that this so-called law enforcement, they're there or not to protect you, okay? They are there to tax you or to incarcerate you and you can work off your debt, one of the two, all right? And I hate to say this because there's some good top cops that's trying to do the right thing, okay? But that's the uh, touch tones of uh, law enforcement. It is a business, okay? Legal systems, it is a business, okay? Courts courthouse it is a business okay divorce child support it is a business all right but rest in peace uh brianna taylor and you guys that are in for the cause or out for the cause that is of wanting to see change i just would uh advise you Okay, to try to, to do it the right way. There's different ways that you can protest. You could always uh, petition to your local representative. You could all uh, you could always, if you like, uh, protest peacefully. You could go to the city hall and maybe try to arrange a uh, some type of uh, community meeting. Community meeting with the police. I like to tell the police from time to time, especially when there's big ball games out here. There's a lot of fights out here in Las Vegas. And I'll just go and tell them and say, hey, man, you know, if I see them at a gas station, you guys are doing a good job, all right? They like to hear that. I think that they, it increases their morale, okay? And uh, I don't think that all cops are bad and so forth, all right? But you got some are, are bad cops or whatever, like that one uh, guy, Kavanaugh, whatever his name is, okay? That uh, he was set up to uh, do that, yes, and it was a crime. Uh, with George Floyd, and just so you'll know, that knee, uh, that knee lock actually is legal in many states. If number one, the assailant uh, poses a physical threat, number one, and then number two, if he resists arrest, okay. But uh, that officer used it at a time when it wasn't ne necessary. There was, what, four, uh, five, six other cops over there, okay? But if you want if you want to know my opinion, the family, okay, instead of the family seeing uh, justice, they took the $12 million, sold out. All right, and, and they agreed to, uh, I guess, to do an, uh, some type of uh, mutual agreement to let those cops walk off, okay? That $12 million was hush money, okay? With, if you compare it to life and also justice, that money is priceless. I mean, it could have been other ways, all right? They probably could have just raised money or whatever they need to do, all right? But uh, I do see reform uh, on the horizon. Uh, it's a shame that stuff like this has happened. But as I say again, they has to take chaos uh, for order. So this is one of the things, including uh, other events like, uh, like the COVID and other things, is just has to just fizz out, okay? You guys should be able to keep the most high first. Um, there's a lot of people out of work. People worry about stimulus, they're stressed out, food shortage. Uh, I made a video the other day about um, that I was able to put together a successful gig business. And again, you guys need to find unprecedented ways if your job don't you know, give you a call back or if you end up getting uh, furled or laid off or fired or whatever, if you know how to work it, you could be able to work part-time and still be able to get your, uh, your little, what, $300, $400 a month, okay, if you know what you're doing. 
okay? Find, optimize your skills so you could be able to find uh, a hustle. Maybe you can, like I say, you could be your own boss to a certain extent. That's even if you have a job. So uh, this is one of the things I have to just fizz out or whatever. Again, rest in peace to uh, that young lady, uh, Brianna Taylor, and uh, I'll have other subjects I'll uh, talk about because there's a lot of stuff about these protests that I'm not really, I don't really find kosher at all, okay? Um, I'm just gonna just say it like it is, okay? I think that some of uh, the protests and some of the people are doing things that are genuine, but uh, you have actors there that want to uh, want to try to uh, uh, cause chaos and so forth, okay? And uh, try to uh, stir up tension and fights and all that, okay? I don't like that part because it had nothing to do uh, with the death of uh, Breonna Taylor or George Floyd. All right, now I'm going to cut this off uh, short, but if you like this video, feel free to subscribe share leave your comments and all that okay and uh check out my other channels uh street rat 702 and uh the remnant one okay i talk about different events that happen in las vegas uh attractions and then the other one uh remnant one uh one that i speak about uh it's pro truth and i like to in incorporate it with the scriptures and all that okay all right, thanks for listening. You can catch those links in my first video. 